Okay. Let's continue battling. 102 special attack. I mean, I feel like half the reason you would use Zero or is Plasma Fists, to be honest. So I don't know. Uh, speaking, of, speaking of which, uh, Dual Weather. Dual Weather plus Zero Aura plus Victini. Plus, wow, they are super grout on weak. Like, disgustingly grout on weak. Like, like irresponsibly, even. Um. We can probably just lead off with Groudon, to be honest. Charizard good in this game? I feel like Charizard's fine. They have four Groudon weaknesses. Granted, two of them are faster than Groudon, like, all the time. Plasma Fist, Switch, and Sin, Fake Out Cali. Oh my god, that's actually kind of funny, but I think the issue is that Fake Out never occurs on the same turn as I Ion move, whatever. Yeah, we're Zerooting today, guys. We're committing Zerood. Alright, cool. We're slower, that's exactly what we want. I'm actually fairly tempted to fake out and heavy slam into this Whimsicott. Because that will KO. And then I can, like, use Zerud pretty much for free. And I don't think I ever dropped to a Kyogre, a Kyogre move in the sun, so I should be fine. Let's do that. Because then it's like Charizard time. Like, everything on my team outspeeds it. Alright, they're Dynamax. That's fine. I also could totally Dynamax Zerude this game if it weren't for the fact that um, I'm getting outsped by, like, Victini. Because <laughs> I'm not Jolly, and I'm supposed to be Jolly, but I don't have the Mint on me. Thank you, Pokemon. Oh! Never mind. We are probably going down to this. I have made a grave error and a miscalculation. I don't know, maybe we live. Oh, it's into normal. Never mind, we're good. Bye, normal. Goodbye, normal. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's, it's into normal. Okay. Not life orb. Might be assault vest. Might be mystic water. We'll find out. This should KO. And that's, that's the reason I went for Heavy Slam instead of um, Heat Crash, because while we were in the sun, Heavy Slam was safer due to the fact that Wimscott's never going to Dynamax. Um, and... And because I said so. Okay, thank you. Um, I think I go Zerud here. There's Aura Aura. Okay. Are we going to Dynamax the Zerud? I don't want to Dynamax the Zerud. I really don't. I don't think we are. I don't think we ever Dynamax the Zerud here. I think what we do is we go for a Rock Tomb on the Zera Aura. And... We might sack Groudon, question mark? No. We don't do that. Zera Aura could also be Helping Hand. I think we Dynamax Zera Aura. Congratulations, guys. We did it. We have to Dynamax Zera Aura. I hope you're happy. I could have also Rock Tombed in the Kyogre, but if they're like Max Hailstorm, I go down. I've been trying to do a challenge to say farewell to Series 12 where I don't use any of the top 100 Pokemon, and oh my god, it's... Well, yeah, because I'm pretty sure every Restricted that's like usable and isn't not fully evolved is somewhere in the top 100 
So you just have no restricteds except for like Cosmog. I don't know why he did that. One of life's mysteries. Anyways, this should do a ton because I'm adamant and I'm not supposed to be. Oh my god, okay. That, yeah, I'm not supposed to be adamant, dude. Max Geyser, hopefully into Charizard. Yep, cool. Um, we know that the Zarude outspeeds the, uh, the Kyogre, but the issue is, the issue that we have to deal with is if the Zarude has Electroweb, which it, I believe it does have access to that. However, I don't see why it wouldn't have gone for that last turn instead of Plasma Fist, so we can probably assume it doesn't have Electroweb. Okay, uh, let's go for the overgrowth into you and Presbus Blades. The Krosma Dust Main isn't isn't top 100. I did not know. I figured it would at least be. We draw on the Zero Aura. It's gonna be like an Intimidate Mon. Oh, it's Groudon. It hasn't. That, that's not that good. That's not. That good. Max Guard. That's fine. Like, next turn, we just annihilate. Groudon shouldn't have any move to hit me. Yeah, Groudon doesn't have any options to hit me. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah, uh, once we get rid of Kyogre, we're, like, fine. I wish I had, like, a, a, a normal type move on this guy for Max Strike. But honestly, I think we can just hit the Groudon now. And, um... Is Kyogre in range of, of heats, a heat crash? Probably not. Let's just press those blades. I'd imagine Kyogre switches. Yeah, that's why I did this. Let's see if he's like AV or Focus Sash. I'd imagine it's Sash, but I didn't want to risk it. Also, the Groudon's definitely AV, which is why I targeted it. That one-shots... Not Focus Sash, so maybe it's a... What item are you? I have no idea what item that is. All I know is now I can click Jungle Healing and get that beautiful animation. I'm going to click Jungle Healing for the thumbnail. Anyone watching this on YouTube wondering when Jungle Healing happens, congratulations. This is it. I hope you're happy. Behold, Bungle Beeling. And also Presbus Blades. Because I think I win regardless. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. I wanted to click Bungle Healing. So what Monkey do? Monkey... Monkey is here to be fashion forward and nothing else. Monkey is here to be fashion forward and nothing else. Okay. Monkey can be fashion forward in this game. Because Monkey does things. Um... Monkey is concerned about the existence of an Eveltal. However, Monkey will deal with this when we get to there. Uh, does Monkey lead? Monkey might lead. Monkey's tired of talking like this. Let's go Xerneas. Um, Groudon. And honestly, Charizard isn't bad, but I'm probably going to have a lot more. Listen, in a Magirna matchup, you don't bring Zarude. I'm doing it purely for the content. I should actually also bring Zer... I should... I should... Mm, let's just bring Charizard. Okay. I'm very quick at making decisions. <laughs> um, by the way, something you might notice is that um, when I'm playing this game and I'm streaming, I, I'm like really bad. But when I'm not streaming, I'm really good. <laughs> That's like the thing that I have to like ask all of my viewers to like accept when I'm playing this game on stream. I am bad, not on purpose, but because I don't care. Um, when I care, I tend to do fairly good. Not like great, but I'm fairly good. Broadway VGC, thank you so much for the sub. 14 months, hey, thank you. Cope. Yeah, I'm coping. I'm coping.
By the way, you might have noticed an uh, excessive amount of Dragon Ball references in this stream, at least at the beginning. Uh, it's it's because I really want to go see that Dragon Ball movie this week, Dragon Ball Superhero. Has anyone seen that? Okay, Incineroar Magirna. Now, let me explain to you why I made the worst lead of all time. I shouldn't have to explain to you why I made the worst lead of all time. It's pretty self-evident right now. Luckily, Groudon sort of remedies this situation a bit. Um, I, however, have no idea how I how I play this. <laughs> Uh, let's do something wildly irresponsible and very fun. Let's Geomancy now. We're gonna do something wildly irresponsible and very fun. I am Geomancying in front of a Magirna. Because, you know... Magirna probably shouldn't... Um, pass up the free Trick Room opportunity... And I can use this opportunity to bait it into attacking me next turn. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's crazy that Goku's getting his own anime. And a movie at that. Also, they didn't fake out. Why didn't you... Are you going to parting shot on me? Or are you going to flare blitz where my Zarude was? Point is, um, hold on, I'm scared. Flare Blitz, okay. All right. Okay, it's in a Groudon. Uh, he doesn't like that. He hates it. I'm throwing. Oh my god, I'm throwing. Okay. We have many options, none of which are pleasant. My Xerneas is currently at plus one special defense, or plus two special defense. I can protect in Max Quake here, and then I'll be at plus three special defense. This Magirna is almost certainly about to go for a Max Spike, uh, Max Steel Spike into, um, into, into, into my Xerneas. Uh, but you know, while someone might say, "Hey, Marcos, why not just Max Quake the Incineroar since it's probably just going to attack you anyways this turn, and you can get a free KO." Uh, the reason, the the thank you for asking by the way. The reason I can't do that is because they gave Magirna. An ability where if anything dies, it gets plus one special attack. So that would make the Max Quake that I just did pretty much useless for any reason other than KOing that Incineroar, which in a game like this, there, there are multiple reasons you'd want a Max Quake. So yeah, um, that's my little rant on Magirna. Game Freak, please fix or don't let it in any format for the rest of its life. Okay, that's Magirna. That's our friend Magirna. Hello, Magirna. You know what a real power play would have been if I, um... Oh, what if their weakness policy? I wouldn't like that. I was gonna say a real power play would have been max guarding and precipice blades. But then if they doubled into my Groudon, I would never live. I should live this because I'm Assault Vest. A Xerneas in this economy, in this latitude located entirely within the confines of this game? Yes. Yes, we're using Azurneus in this economy. I should tank both of these hits fairly well. Now, Azurneus is going to take a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. Unless I'm somehow underspeeding this Magirna, which I doubt I am. Okay, they are doubling the Groudon, which means I should have made the right choice. Unless, unless, um, this <laughs> Magirna's weakness policy, which let's be honest, there's a good chance it is. Parting shot? That's fine. That's fine. I'm just trying to make sure that my 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 Xerneas doesn't go down this turn. Mr. Soda King, you're entirely right. Lando is a fairly good option into something like Magirna, but I wouldn't call it like a hard answer. Um, mainly because you'd have to be like Assault Vest, and in this format, Assault Vest Lando is generally not a good use of it. Dear God, don't be weakness policy. Well, it wasn't Shookaberry. 
I could I wonder what item they could be. I I wonder what item they could be. Oh, they're not. Okay, no, no, never mind. We're good. We're good. We're still in this. This is fine. This is fine. Um, there's like no chance I drop to anything that happens here. And it's in my best interest to probably keep attacking. And if I'm real. Oh, I'm going to give this thing plus one, aren't I? I'm going to give this thing plus one. I just have to stall out the trick room and then I'm fine. Like, that's literally it. That's literally all I have to do. I just have to stall a trick room. Kyogre, please be slower than me. Or faster. We're under trick room. Whichever one is convenient for me, do that. Okay, they withdraw the Kyogre. Very cool. Very Actually, very, like, super good for me. For them, arguable. Um, I might KO this Incineroar. Probably not, though. I don't have max special attack. Nor do I have 100 special attack. We have, like, 68. Bounce off of me. Thank you. Xerneas. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Nice little special defense boost. How many turns are left to Trick Room before I can start winning? Because I have the most goaded play ever in mind. A play that's illegal in seven states. And three of those states are solid, liquid, and gas. Oh, that might not actually be good for me in the grand scheme of things. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's an issue. Uh... <laughs> that that's that's actually pretty bad. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. That's pretty bad. But I think I can get out of this question mark. There's Eveltal. Okay. Eveltal probably doesn't do much here. Like, like it really doesn't. How many turns are left to Trick Room? That really informs how I play the rest of this game. There's two? There are two? Dude, I could totally attack right now. I could totally attack. I'm going to attack right now. I'm going to attack right now, and I'm going to win because I didn't protect my Xerneas. Check this out. They, already, they, are, they should know I'm protecting. They should know I'm protecting. Unless they're watching the stream, then they might actually, you know. Then I might get screwed. There's no chance. There's no chance that without, like, stream sniping, they're, like, gonna attack the Xerneas here. Like, they should always attack the Groudon. Okay, maybe, maybe, you know, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're not stream sniping. Probably not. Probably not. I probably just made a bad play. This still isn't unwinnable, though. It's just really bad. Alright, that's just gonna bounce off. Nice. They take more damage than they heal. Let's go Charizard here. Now, I'd imagine that this Magirna is almost certainly in range of Blast Burn. But there is still a turn of Trick Room. But also, I'm going to lose my Groudon. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't if I just get the KO on the Magirna. Maybe I should just be better at the game. They are taking a long time to pick their moves, though. I, I, I'm going to be honest. They are taking a long time to pick their moves in this match.
flash cannon. I live. Should get off my P blades. Don't miss. Okay. This is winnable now. This is officially winnable. Go for P Blades. Um, and I actually think I Hurricane into Eveltal because I really doubt that it's Sucker Punch because it would have done that last turn. Okay. They they are they are just taking all the time to pick their moves. Yo, confusion. Thank you. Hit yourself. Hit yourself right now. Come on. Hoggers. Told you. Thank you. Gaming. Don't miss. Please. Thank you. Okay. Um this became winnable. Rain stopped. Cool. All right. I think I know how I win this. Yeah, it kind of depends on the. I'm I'm banking on this being Scarf Kyogre is the issue. If the Revelto hits the hits itself this turn, I almost certainly win. Hit yourself now. Dark Pulse, that's fine. Water Spout, that's fine. Also, not Scarf Kyogre. Very cool. Very cool. Um, there, I would say no reason to risk a miss, but there is quite a reason to risk a miss. I don't think Darkest Lair at KO's here. So I get in my Grot on now. To minimize damage, I take this turn. By the way, if you're wondering why I was like checking to see how long they take to move to, t uh, to select their moves, it's because for a minute there, I was kind of convinced they were stream sniping because it was taking them a minute to click their moves and they did call a few turns perfectly. And granted, my opponent's probably just like a good player, but I was I was suspicious for a minute there. All right, I just have to connect this rock to him. Oblivion Wing. I should live that pretty easily. I'm going to get a Rock Tomb off. I just barely live that. Oh my god. Actually, I think I lose now. Also, I just realized that um, I might... That, that could... If this doesn't KO. Okay, that might have cost me the game because I also just realized that my Zarude's supposed to be Jolly and I didn't have a Jolly Mint. <laughs> So that 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 could have cost me the game right there. That right there that could have cost me the game if it weren't for the fact that I I had my I had my Charizard in the back. So yeah, um, that almost lost me the entire game. My Zarude is supposed to be Jolly, but it's not, uh, and it's guaranteed to outspeed Veltal. 
All right. Um. Ah, crap. It's a bad position to be in. Um, I, I'm assuming this is Assault Vest Kyogre. Oh, God. Solar Beam, please, KO. It kind of has to, or I lose. I mean, this is Life Orb Solar Power. It, it, it might. It's going to be really close. I couldn't risk a Hurricane because that had a 50% shot. Okay, we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good. Origin Pulse. Ooh. Oh, if they have Protect, it's over. Thoughts on special attacking Zero Aura? What's its special attack stat? All right, please KO. Nope, they're assault vest. Good game. Dang. Okay, that's fine. I'm I'm just very glad I brought it back to that point because my lead that game was atrocious. <laughs> I let off so bad that game. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let's just... Can I get Series 13? Johnny. Okay, his name's Spark. Okay, Series 13. I'm, s I, I'm sorry. I just... He left the Applebee. <laughs> he left the Applebee's. I had no... He had no more business with me, for the Applebee's was now vacant. Okay, let's go, uh... Um, let's do this. No need for Zerud this game. I just... I, I don't know again. I, I don't... I don't know. Okay. Um, that's gonna be in the YouTube video, too, because, like, that was a short enough battle that I can include that, and it's just hilarious. It's, it's just funny. It's literally just... It's the funniest content on YouTube. Like, I banished Thomas the Tank Engine Ghost from Applebee's on a Pokemon stream at 5 a.m. <laughs> okay. Okay, alright. Okay. Okay. Zarina makes me think Series 13 specific. I feel like Zarina's good in every format, and we always discount it. Like, we always think it's not that good. But it is. It's really good. We're all just stupid. Evolt on Magearna. Um, that's pretty much the lead I want. TBH. TBH, that's like the perfect lead for me. Um, let's go for the fake out onto you, because I'm actually fairly certain that they're just going to go ahead and max airstream and get in their Kyogre. If they Dynamax the Magirna, we lose, I'll be honest. Also, I really hope it's, like, not AV Evaltal. That'd be really cool. So I could two-shot it. Very poggers. Very poggers, indeed. Yep. Okay. Yeah, getting your Kyogre. Yep, that's what I thought. I almost faked out the, the Eveltal, but that's too dangerous of a play. Like if they if they Dynamax it, I wasted my my Incineroar. And also if they if they like just stayed in with Magirna, they got Trick Room off and then I lose.
Did I get it right? Yes, I got the play entirely right. They're going to airstream me. I think Zarina is never good per se, but it's always good against something that gives her some sort of niche. No, no. In Gen 8 specifically, Zarina has never been bad in my opinion, exclusively due to the fact that we have things like Prankster Grim, Snarl, and Thunderous running around. That was a crit, right? No, oh, that's just normal damage? Cool, thank you, Incineroar. Alright, as long as I don't get crit here, I'm like set. I like don't lose. Airstream into Charizard. Probably Assault Vest. That doesn't look like Life Orb. If it is Life Orb, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of this. Yep, okay, that, that was indeed Life Orb. It's getting the grout on. And... I can actually just straight up KO the Sea Veltal now. Let's just KO the Veltal. There's no way it takes Wildfire in the sun. Sarina makes me want Bruxish back. They have the same ability, just different name. Dude, Bruxish plus Colossal would have actually been the most broken combination of Pokemon you could run. Like, the best counterplay for Colossal was faking out its partner or faking out it or faking out whatever. Bruxish let you just not. And it was an Aqua Jet user. So you literally just combine. It was roll compression. It was like the greatest roll compression possible. Yep. I was going to say, there's no chance they live that. Groudon should always live this hit, but now they have a really fast Kyogre, so I'm concerned about Water Spout. Yep! Okay. Uh, I do have Fake Out with... Oh, they critical hit my Groudon. I was going to say, that explains the damage. That seems like it, that seems like it did much more than it should have. But now they take uh, now they take residual damage, and I'm honestly like in a really really good spot, because um, I can just get in my Zacian here and like threaten everything. But it's probably better just to get in normal for fake out pressure. Bruxish had the funny move; it had hypnosis. I had no idea it had hypnosis. Well, now I really want it back. <laughs> now I want my signature move. Victini, hey Victini, what's poppin', guy? I hope you had a great lunch. And I hope it wasn't a Shooka Berry. Okay. Um, if that Water Spout previously was a crit, I'm guaranteed to live this next one. And I need a KO Victini, or I lose. Because if it's Scarf Victini, that's just like awful for me. But I'm fairly certain it's Scarf Victini. They may even protect here. They should protect the Kyogre, for being honest. They should always protect the Kyogre. If they get in Magirna, I'll be ecstatic. As long as I don't miss this Presbus Blades, because then I lose. Because then I just lose. Unless they final Gambit. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. I think I got this play right. Fake out. Cool. Like I said, I'm guaranteed to live this. Scald. Okay, I should live that because of Salt Vest. Don't burn me or I'll cry. Oh god, who'd you miss? Okay, no, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Kyogre goes down in two turns. Um... They may even just throw and assume I'm going to protect here, but they should know I'm a Salt Vest. So I should always win if I KO the Magirna this turn. So I'm going to Flare Blitz. Because if the Victini locks into V-Create, I just beat it with Incineroar.
Also, it might not be Scarfictini. We never know. You never know these things. The, like, life throws you a lot of... Oh. Okay. I, I might lose. I might lose. This is a possibility. Still doing a lot of damage, though. And, as previously stated, taking they're taking a lot of damage, too. Because while Victini doesn't take the wildfire damage, the Kyogre does, and this is still in the sun, you know? This is still a sun-boosted move. And I can still protect my Zacia next turn. Unless they're like Floor Cannon, I, I always win. Or not Floor Cannon, unless they're like Specs Floor Cannon, I should always win. They would also have to double my Incineroar, but that would make them slow enough where I win regardless, I think. So I protect this turn, and I Flare Blitz the Magirna. I also am probably just faster if they're minimum speed. Like, that's also a possibility. Alright, don't protect your Magirna, please! You create- oh, they doubled. Please be faster, Incineroar. But also, now you're slower than me. So I can probably knock you out. Because your defense is down. Yep, I win. Okay, we're good. Nice. Yeah, they doubled, but if they're minimum speed and you have any speed investment on Incineroar, you win. That was a really good game. Behemoth Blade, Flare Blitz, both work. Yep. I was going to say, there's like a non-zero chance my Zashian could live that. Because <laughs> Victini... I mean, no, it was in the sun. What am I saying? I was going to say, like, I, if it wasn't in the sun, I might have lived that. Just because Zashian has like a really good bulk. And Victini was at minus one. Do you think we could still self-proc in Gen 9? Yeah, self-proc weakness policy has always been a thing. The difference between weakness policy in non-Dynamax formats and Dynamax formats is you need to be a good player to weakness policy in non-Dynamax formats. Because you have to set up for it. You have to like play for that endgame. In, in Dynamax, you just do it. You just do it. In non-Dynamax, you have to earn it. And that's why I like it a lot better there. Anyways, that's going to be it for tonight's stream. Thank you all for coming out. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.